I'm Rich Bowen, and this is the Voice of Apache. The Travel Assistance Committee, or TAC, is a group at the Apache Software Foundation that provides financial assistance for people to attend our events. And this is motivated by trying to get those people more engaged in our communities and perhaps contributing. I've done interviews about TAC in the past, so you're probably already familiar with it. But in Bratislava this year at Community Over Code, I spoke with Stefan Vodita, who is one of the recipients of this year's conference. And he talked a little bit about what he gets out of that experience. Thanks for coming to the event. Tell me why you're here. What are you, where are you hoping to get out of the conference? Uh, well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I've been to two other Apache conferences, so the last ApacheCon and the first Community Over Code. And both times it was a really good experience, left with a, well, with more work to do than I thought I had before going to the conference, which is, I think that's a successful conference, yeah. great. <laughs> um, so yeah, loads of ideas. And as they say, the hallway track is always the best track. You're, you're a participant in the Travel Assistance Committee program. What are the expectations of you while, you, while you've been here? I feel like very little has been asked of me compared to how much I get in return. Um, so it, it's a good deal, uh, really. Um, I just had to be there for talks, keep time, count people. And I helped with the registration desk yesterday, which is actually good because I got to see, to meet, you know, everyone who's coming to the conference. So it's perfect. Again, I got more out of it than I put in. <laughs> you meet loads of really smart and really interesting people who know more than you and you can learn a lot of from them some from people who are working in areas close to what you're working on so uh, what they're interested what they care about um, and you also learn some from people who work on something completely different and you have no idea uh, what it is at the start but then tell you about it and then you know one more thing um, and weirdly enough when you meet with people it's easier to cooperate later on even if it is remote um, just yesterday, we were doing the search birds of a feather and somehow we had all of these ideas for really simple things we could do that have huge ROI. Why weren't we doing those things before? Somehow you had to meet in person and talk about it to actually figure out, oh yes, we should, um, I don't know, mention at least the vector search on the home, Solar's homepage because people don't even know Solar supports vector search. Why did no one do this before? I don't know. You had to come together and think about it together. Now, one thing that I have discovered is that a lot of, uh, a lot of the folks that I talk to around open source are not familiar with this term, birds of a feather. So mm -hmm. can you describe what that, what that experience was? Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, it was a weird term to me at first yeah. as well. Um, I think it's a meeting for people that have a common interest. So generally, right, it'll be prefixed with what the interest is, like search, and then it's birds of a feather. Um, I guess the idea is birds of a feather means there's some similarity, right? You have this common interest. Um, get together, and I don't think there's a specified agenda necessarily. You could think, talk about different things. I remember um, in the Halifax conference, we talked about pain points. I think we went one by one and said, this is what I hate most about the project I'm working on. We were a small enough group that everyone could introduce themselves, but a large enough group that we didn't know each other. So we introduced each person one by one, you know, how they got involved in search. And you know, some people throw out, I would like to talk about security in solar. I would like to talk about um, how we're advertising the projects. Um, and then the conversation just went from that. You're doing search as part of your day job, right? Yes. What, what, what does that look like? What project are you involved with and, and how's that used? I work at Amazon on product search and uh, the Amazon's product search is built on Lucene. It moved to Lucene a few years ago. Um, so we work quite closely with the, the open source project. Um, partly because we make an effort to be involved in open source, to give back and to have a good relationship with the community. And again, I think Amazon gets a lot out of that, more out of it probably than we put in sometimes. Um, 
So we try to, you know, do our, do our part. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you.